Hey guys, welcome to part three of how to build your layout from start to finish. We're talking about track planning today, and we're talking about how to lay the straight track today. So let's get right into it. First of all, my cousin Chris has basically done the track planning for me. Once again, as we get into this model railroading thing, we all know that we're, we have a weakness, you know, and strength. And my strength is definitely not track planning or CAD programs or uh, bench work. So anyway, with that said, let's take a look at what Chris did for me. And by the way, I'd like to thank Chris for all he does to help me out uh, guiding me through this series as I make my mistakes. He's kind of guiding me in the right way, so thanks, Chris. But let's take a look at what he's done here. So when you have a, a layout, you need to have a plan. You've got a general idea before you start your bench work, but then once your bench work is complete, you've basically got the parameters to deal with what kind of track you want. Now me, I just want a simple double oval. Uh, I want limited scenery because I have to move. I wanted modules because I have to move, and I'm tired of things getting destroyed. Now what Chris has done here is taken the dimensions of my layout and made the double oval I wanted along with the largest radius of circle I can have on that oval. Also some other parameters he's done is make sure that my outer oval of track is six inches in from the edge. Now why six inches? Well it's simple. If your train derails, if it's not, uh, if it doesn't have enough space, it's going to go off the table and onto the floor. And you don't want $250, $500 engines or those brass engines or those brass cars I have or anything you have going onto the floor if you can build a, a layout so it won't do that. So basically, six inches off the edge, NMRA says will give you enough space to, if your engine, or I should say locomotive derails or your rolling stock, it won't go off the edge. So that's that. And then the other thing is, after that outer layer track, he's put an additional three inches before the inner layer track. Now, it's pretty much standard to have two inches. You'll see this double uh, crossover I have here is a two inch uh, separation from the center of the track on this end to the center track on that end. The double truss bridge from Walders I have is two inches, but he's done three inches because on the curves, the cars may sideswipe because I have really long passenger cars. I've got those intermodel cars and he's done his research and found out that those cars will sideswipe if they're you know, much closer than three inches. So we've done that. So with the double crossover, I'll have to lead a track in a little bit and on the bridge, I'll have to lead a track in, but no big deal. It's just a little uh, deviation from the track plan. So the track plan's good, you've got it set up. Now, one other thing about track plans is there's a couple different uh, programs you can use. The one my cousin uses is X-Track CAD. Now, I can send you a link if you want, but it's a Yahoo group. You sign up for the Yahoo group, kind of like HO Yard Sale, if you heard of that. And you have access to this program for free. And then you can plan your track uh, layout and things like that in that program. But there's other programs too out there. That's just the one that I've used. So make sure you have a good program to plan your layout. And then once you do, you'll have your measurements where you want them. Like I said, taking this here, and I've measured six inches in from the edge, like uh, the track plan dictates, and then an additional three inches in from that edge, or from that marking, as the track plan dictates, and those will be the center of my rails uh, for each line, for the straight portion. So once you've done that on the straight portions of your track, you can take this cork road bed that I got from Midwest Products, uh, incorporated and you can line it up with the lines you can draw a line all the way from your markings if you want whatever you want here but it's pretty easy because it breaks in two and you just line it up now obviously I'm over two modules here so that wouldn't be the case but I'm just showing you how to do this uh, and transfer your track plan into motion here then you take your track and simply line it up in the center of those two things and we'll get into how to secure your track down to your to your uh, your board later but that's basically what you do for your track plan to transfer it over now the curves we'll get into later because uh, the, the uh, curves are a different beast you need trammel points which is a tool I will get in when we cover the curves in order to do uh, the curves correctly so I don't have those trammel points yet so we can't cover that until those come in the mail but that's gonna be a really long video because we've got to cover uh, soldering of the rail and things like that uh, to get those curves to operate the way they should without any kinks and causing derailments and things like that. So that's it for this portion 
of this video, uh, how to transfer, how to do your track plan, how to transfer it onto your layout. Uh, this is about it. Now, like I said, we're going to have to secure this track down. We'll get into that when we do the curves. But thanks for watching. We'll see you in about a week. Also, I've got a few emails about what kind of rolling stock and things I have planned for this year. Any engines? I can tell you, just a preview, there's going to be at least four or five pieces of brass coming to my layout this summer. I'll get into detail on that later. I'll have reviews for you, but I'm, I'm plussing up on my brass collection a little more. And I'll also have uh, BLMA's 25 reefer cars, the 60 foot reef, 64 foot reefer cars they have uh, coming out. I will have all 25 of those in the series. Uh, and there's a, a few other things that I've got planned for this summer, but we'll cover that later. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Make sure to keep up on this series uh, because these next steps are critical in the process of building your layout from start to finish. Take care. See you next time.